Hello investors and welcome back to Just Rainy Stocks. During this video, there are some value plays out there and I want to tell you how to look for those and we'll discuss that during this video. I also want to talk about when the market's red, which stocks should you be looking at? Do they have a history of rebounding from previous support levels? That's what I like to look at. We like value in this channel. So if you want to subscribe to a channel where we talk about value, we're trying to hit that price where it's a buy low. That way you can sell high lock in profits or you just want to get locked into a stock that has tremendous growth strategy. We like to make money in this channel. Join us by subscribing. All right, let's not delay any further and let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I have pulled up here is I wanted to look at the relative volume just to see who's popping up on the top indicators. And I have it filtered here and I did a quick scroll through and I'm looking for low prices that, you know, potentially have a high volume of trade. And one that jumped out to me this morning was this biotech stock. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So just keep that on your uh, watch list, this ADMA. And I'll tell you why some of these plays that I'm going to talk about during this video don't make any sense why the why why their price isn't going up more than it is. So I want these on your watch list. So I also wanted to talk about the fact that they are pushing through with this infrastructure bill. This, this is going to go through. It's the White House's top priority. News published this morning, and you can find these news uh, bits. They're consolidated in FinViz, so feel free to check that out. But Schumer rejects that. I mean, they're all talking about this $3.5 trillion spending package. Regardless, it's going to remain a topic till it goes through. So this is a catalyst that we're still waiting on for a lot of these EV plays. The next thing that I wanted to look at this morning, and most of you might already know, there was a huge Bitcoin crash. It was a flash crash. It says it briefly dropped about 17%. And I would say never leave money on the table that's not invested. And you know, there's a strategy where you can actually place a buy limit. Like, say it's ridiculous. You know, this, this could never happen, especially if you're in a crypto play. I mean... Put in a ridiculous buy amount like, hey, I never think this would go to, to $8 because it's sitting at 16 But if it fell to that level, even for a brief moment, especially with something with the volatility like Bitcoin, place in those buys and just set them. And if it does dip, you're talking about waking up to a rebound. And that's why this rebounds so quickly is because people do have these buy thresholds in if it was to do a dramatic dip and you know that, that's just a trading strategy that you should try and incorporate so wanted to talk about neo 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 did a capital raise and if you do the math it's about three to three point seven percent dilution of current shareholder value now there's a trade-off because they're including more money on the balance sheet did they need to do a a dilution of shareholders at this point do they need to raise capital you know if you understand the direction that the company's going you could say they've already got 7.5 billion on the books why would they need to raise another 2 billion but if you know which direction the company's going and how costly it is to do this so let's walk through that real quick number 1 they're expanding to Europe and they're making cost effective vehicles that aren't carrying the Neo brand. So they're 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 changing up. So Neo's gonna get to keep their brand. They've got you know expansion plans that not only accelerate that they're going to another country, but they're also creating this Neo part. It's under construction, and there's no doubt that the, that EV has been a huge play, and China's been the leader in this space. And if you didn't think that this is gonna be expensive to do this then, you know, I mean, take advantage of the dip. Take advantage of this opportunity. NEO goes to 36 and it rebounds back. If you are looking for guaranteed money to make in the market, NEO, I've never done a video on them. If you'd like to see a NEO video, if I, there's just so many people that cover NEO out there. It's, it's something that I buy quite often and I sell as it does these runs. The $36 range. 
37 in this case. You want to watch Neo. It's got the volume and popularity to back it. You're going to make money on that play. So this ADMA stock, it got FDA approval. And if you zoom out to the, to the year chart, or if you even look at the 52 week highs and lows, I mean, it is, this is a play where they got FDA approval on some processes that are supposed to improve their overall gross margin and make everything better. And it's at its lowest level. I think it had an initial run of 12% and then pulled back. It makes no sense. This company is near its record lows. Put this on your watch list. ADMA, if you don't have that, this is a great opportunity to get in. PayPal, another one that came out with great news and it took a dip today. Uh, you know, they acquired, uh, I think it was in Japan, they bought they bought uh, a pay front. Let's look at the news. I, I, I remember reading this earlier, but it escapes me now. But they did a Japan acquisition. So if you're not sure, all you have to do is just click on the news. And here it is right here. Uh, PayPal heats up buy now, pay later in the race space with a 2.7 billion Japan deal. So they acquired this uh, Payday, uh business. And that is a well-run company. Astra went down to the, it hit the $8 range and then came back. Uh, this is one that I would say you definitely want to take advantage of this in the $8 range. The thing that's going to separate space stocks is profitability and their whole model is surrounded based on cost, cost-effective building of smaller rockets and their design and engineering and their mass producing of the rockets. They will get to orbit. They will, <clears throat> they will have a successful launch. Excuse me. Um, and I still have confidence in this company. And I believe that people got out of their position before the launch, which was smart. And now they're looking for a position to re-enter. <clears throat> Now, of course, sorry about my throat. Of course, they're, you're looking at a play that's going to be several years from now. <clears throat> and what you're believing in is the whole idea of them having daily launches. So if you still believe that that's possible, that they're going to do it, that they're going to change this space, they're going to open this space up to a lot more satellites that are, like I was saying in my video before, the, loaf, the size of a loaf of bread, you don't need these majorly big rockets. This is a great play to get into. Proterra, I said if this goes down into the $9 range, I said stay away from it yesterday. That's what it did. You see it rebounding. I believe we have support in the $9 range. This one's coming back. It took a beating yesterday. And then the last one that I have up here is STEM. STEM had support at 21, but STEM is got a huge, huge Q3 that they need to accomplish, and it looks like they're on track to accomplish this. Lots of numbers that we went back and forth on on the STEM video that I did. This one is going to bounce back too, but it looks like this is a better buy at the $21 range where it had a lot of selling pressure on it, but people are willing to pay for future performance, so I wanted to make sure that this one is on your list to watch also. So, Buy stocks when the when the market is red like this. Buy stocks that you can see proven historical records, like track records of bouncing off those previous support lines. And if out of all of these right now, I would say FDA approval, that's got to be one of my top ones. It's a penny stock. Penny stocks are very volatile, but I meant what is happening there? I have no idea. It's got to come back. I'll be curious to watch this. Uh, this week to see what happens with that play. And then Neo. I mean, of course, you know, Neo is going to be the safer play. You can see they're, they're moving forward with their plans, their operations. So if you want to make money, if you want to, if you want to be part of a channel that is a hundred percent dedicated on growing portfolios, getting in at the lowest price, subscribe, be sure to like the video. I hope this helps you and I'll see you guys in the next one.